Hey guys, what's up? Jose Villablanca here. Now today I'm going to do a full body workout just using one equipment and that's a barbell. So you want to do as many reps as you can do in one minute per exercise. Then you take a 15 second break between each exercise to complete the whole set. Now you want to do five sets of this. So that's a round. One round it works your full body. So you're going to be huffing and puffing after this and try to track how many reps you do within a minute because you'll start to see if you do this with it for a month then you'll start to see that you're getting stronger and you'll be able to do more reps within the same amount of time. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Thanks guys. All right, we're starting with some push-ups. So this works your chest, your front shoulders, and your triceps. You want to make sure that your core is tight and your hips are not sagging. So you want a straight line from your heels all the way through your head. Now we're going to move the bar to a higher point. The higher you lift it, the easier it gets. The lower you put the bar down, the harder it gets. And this is an inverted row. So again, you want a straight line from your heels all the way through your head. This works your back, your biceps, your rear shoulders, and a bit of your forearms. Now, if this is too hard for you, you can bend your knees and have your feet flat. Here, I have it straight. And you can also take a break as I did there earlier. Remember, you want to do as many reps as you can do in a minute, so you can always take a break if you need to. Now we're going to do some back squats. So make sure the bar is resting on your back and not your neck. You want your feet wider than shoulder width apart with your toes slightly pointing outwards. And you squat as low as you can. Make sure your heels do not come off the ground. The common mistakes I see is leaning far too forward or not squatting low enough. After your 15 second break, you're gonna do some shoulder presses. So here you want your hips slightly bent, so your butt out, your knees slightly bent, do not lock them, your feet wider than shoulder width apart, and you're gonna grab the bar wider than shoulder width apart, and you're gonna lift it up above your head as high as you can and lower it back down just below your shoulders. Now this might be hard for the females, so you can jerk your way up by using your leg to build momentum upwards. Another 15 second break, and then we're gonna do some bent over rows. So you want your spine parallel to the floor or close to it. You want your knees slightly bent, and you're really hinging from the hip, so you're leaning back into your bum and leaning forward with your head. Make sure your spine is straight, from there, you're going to lift the bar up until you squeeze your shoulder blades together and then lower it back down. Make sure you're not swinging too much. And again, if you need a need break, take a break and then continue again until the minute is up. From there, you're going to do some deadlifts. So you can either do regular deadlifts, which I'm doing here, or stiff leg deadlifts, where you there is only a very slight bend in your knees. So this is really a hip hinging movement. So you're really lowering down by bending from the hips, sticking your butt as far back as you can. Now we're going to do some front lunges. So you're taking your first leg forward as far as you can, dropping down until your back knee touches the ground and switching. Do this for a minute, as much as you can. From there, after your 15 second break, you can do some leg raises. So you want the bar right above your shoulders with your arms straight. You're going to lower your legs as low as you can without arching your lower back or seeing a gap between the floor and your lower back. You can also work the obliques by moving your legs side to side ever so slightly. After a 15 second break, you can go straight to sit-ups. So you don't want to use too much momentum going up and if you can't do a full sit-up, feel free to just do crunches. Again, keeping your arms straight and really going slow on your way down. So that's the whole circuit. I hope you enjoy guys. Take care.